Hello. Hello. Good evening. Happy March. April. April. It's April. April. We can't even keep track of days over it's here. It's spring. <laughs> yes. And we are we are going to celebrate spring with yes. our steam craft this month. Yes, we? we are. We are going to have a lot of fun. We're going to work with seeds, and we're going to make a sprout house. What's a sprout house? Well, you're about to find out. I am very excited yes. about this one. Me too. Okay, so what do we do? All right, we are going to start by unpacking our bag. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. So you're going to have your directions. You're going to have popsicle sticks and a bag full of goodies. All right, what's in there? A lot in here. We have <laughs> an empty spray bottle, a bunch of toothpicks, two bags of seeds. What do we have? Chia seeds? Yes, chia. And I believe these are wheatgrass seeds. Oh. And we have these we weird... some good smoothies. Yes. yes. And we have these weird, strange, tiny, flat things. These are sponges. Those Isn't are that so crazy? cool. Yeah. So in a couple minutes, we're going to actually get to wet them and watch them grow. I'm excited. All right. So um, what we're going to first do is we're going to cut these to size. These are going to be the base of, so we're basically making a house made of sponges. Okay. And then we're going to plant our seeds on top of that. Okay. We'll put them on top of that. So according to our directions. Yes. We have one full sponge yes. as the foundation. Okay. okay. Then we have one sponge as the roof, and we okay. cut it in half. Yes, we cut it in half. Half being um, like we have the long ways, we're going to cut it like down the middle there. So it's not lengthways, but not hot dog, but hamburger. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we've got that about half. Okay. And then do we need another half? Yes. Okay. One sponge is going to be the walls. Cut it in half. Okay. Okay. So now we've got, all, we've got four. We've got four halves. Okay. And then we're going to make additional walls. I'm guessing the shorter walls um, by cutting it in half and then cutting it in half again. Okay. So we might end up having an extra half piece that we'll just set aside. Okay. All right. Now, it's the kind of cool part where we turn these hard, thin things into squishy I'm excited. sponges. Okay. I feel like the camera needs to be able to see this. Okay. okay. So how do you do, do this? Grab the camera? Yeah, maybe. Please edit out all of this. Okay. Okay. Oops. So, we have our hard, thin sponge. Okay. Look. Did you guys see it grow? Oh, wow. It grows so fast. It does. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? That's cool. I'll do that with the others. And you kind of want to squeeze them out good. Those are fun sponges. Look at how yeah. big they are. I know. Isn't They're that crazy? Like normal look size they now. Out. And look at how they started. And then look. They're very cool. Yeah. They hydrate very quickly. Yes, they do. Okay, let's throw them in, let them grow, soak up some of that water. Okay, and then you're going to squeeze them out a little bit. All right, so you now... them to be damp, not... Yeah, like damp, soaked. not like soaked, because, yeah, we're going to be piercing them with toothpicks, and you don't want, like, water oozing out everywhere. Okay. All right, now after that, it is time to build our house. Um, when we're done, we're going to put it in this pie tin. Yes. <laughs> so we don't get like water everywhere, but um, you don't have to make it in there. All right. So these are like the connectors that are going to connect the pieces of sponges together and hold them together. Okay. So we have our base, the full piece, and then now we're going to use the toothpicks to like anchor the walls. So the ones that are half size are gonna go um, like, like widthwise here. Okay, because you want to leave a little bit of overhang on yes, the outside. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So when we put it together, it's gonna end up being like that, like this, but with the toothpicks as like the anchors. Okay. All right. So go ahead and do that. Um, so you just stick it right. I'm through just the gonna sponge, stick huh? it right through the sponge. Yeah. And it, Probably you, I would think you'd want at least, at, with the bigger walls, maybe at least two sponges. Now, the toothpicks are not crazy sharp, but they are sharp ends, so just be careful. 
Ask for help if you need yes. it. Yes. Yeah, it is a little challenging getting them through there at first. Okay, so we got one wall up. It is not the straightest, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna do, I'll probably do a side wall so I know how to space that. So we'll do this. I'm kind of like butting it right up to the, the edge of the sponge and also the edge of the wall. Okay, I'll do the other wall. This is definitely a crooked sprout house. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right though. No judgment here. I think I'm gonna, oh, I just poked myself. So be careful, careful. guys, I didn't feel the best. <laughs> I'm gonna put a third uh, support in the longer walls. I think, I think it could use that. All right, so we have three of our four walls up. So we'll do this one next. And then after we um, attach the bottom sponge, the base sponge with these, we can um, put some through the sides to attach the walls because it's still, it's so not it's the a little sturdiest. Sturdier. Yeah, so we, we're going to place some like through here so it will be like, like gotcha. this. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, part of a STEAM project or STEM is to figure out the best problem solving things. There you guys you might find way better ways to do this than I am. It looks great. Hopefully you're better builders than I am. <laughs> And we are always at the end, we can trim off the, the sharp pokey sides that are protruding out of our building. Okay, so we have our four walls, mm -hmm. which are definitely not the evenest, but that's okay. <laughs> and then now it's the time for the roof, which okay. this was tricky when I was trying to build this. All right, so basically the roof is, roof is going to be like this. Okay. Um... I think I connected it to the house first. I made a model one of these and I forgot to bring it with me. So I'm connecting the bottom pieces to the house okay. and then at so the then end I'm the going to connect together. Yeah. But you guys might find a better way to do it at home. It is an experiment so do as you want. Okay, so I've got these attached, maybe, and then now I'm going to put toothpicks through the roof to connect them. Okay. And then when you're done with a pair, so we've got a house. It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't it know looks, if I want to live in that house, but... It looks like a child's <laughs> drawing of a dog house. <laughs> All right. And like you, in a good way. <laughs> thanks. I appreciate it. If you, you want, did a you, great can, job. you can trim off um, the the excess toothpicks. So it is Probably a good idea. Yeah, I would say so, because I got one poked in my hand, the, and it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Watch your eyes when you do this, because they fling everywhere. They sure do. All right. 
You can't tell that much, right? <laughs> so now we're going to take our aluminum pie pan okay. and we'll set it in there. And you'll notice we've got our seeds. We're going to need these two. This is how we spread the seeds on our house. Is that a popsicle stick? Yes, okay. a popsicle stick. So if for some reason you weren't able to pick up one of our kits, I know they go really fast every month. Most of this is stuff that you might just have at home right. or you can pretty find, yeah. Pretty, um, yeah, pretty inexpensive, not, yeah. not too pricey. You just need some sponges, yeah. some popsicle sticks, some toothpicks, yeah. and then the one thing you, you know, might be a little hard to get is seeds, but you can still get them at just about any store. Right. All right. Okay. So now we are going to, you can put the seeds wherever you like. If I feel like these big ones would stick better to here. Um, than the, than put, the top. On, yeah, yeah, because on the top these, if you mix them with water, stick good. So I'm going to kind of just put seeds on the bottom as our grass. Okay. I like how they're not really wanting to stay on the sides of our home, but that's okay. And you just kind of sit them on there? Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of sitting them on there. Okay, and then now with our chia seeds, is that how you say it? Yeah, chia. Okay. Um, it is best like to, chia pets. Yes. <laughs> it is best to add a little bit of water to this, and then we can make like a mix. Okay. Um. So. I'm not the best prepared, but if you have like a little bowl at home or a container, you can pour them in there and then add the water. I don't, so we're gonna do it in a bag. I'm gonna get water from this bucket. Put some in here. And kind of mix it around. I'm going to try not to make a big mess, but you know how that goes. All right. All right, and so see how it's kind of like oh, yeah. it's sticking. Makes it like so, yeah. a little. So that's why it's kind of good to leave this one for the rough. That makes sense. So I'm spreading our water chia seed mix on the rough. These will be our shingles. <laughs> Angled a little. Say the slope on that. The slope on that one roof is good. Little Hopefully, little your roof steep. looks a little bit better than my roof. You, you did a great job. Thanks. I appreciate it. There we go. I'll just like layer yeah. that little part there. It looks great. Yeah. So, everyone at home, what are two things that seeds and flowers and living things need? Do you guys know? Well, if you said water, that's definitely one of them. And the other one is sunlight. sunlight. Yay. So, um, the water part, you are, I have chia seeds all over my hands, so pardon me. Um, the spray bottle that you were given, um, we're going to fill up with water because we need to keep our seeds moistened and wet. And also, the bottom of the, the pie pan, we can put some water in it so it, it kind of moistens the the, the sponge will sponge, soak yeah. it up. So I'm going to put some water in here. And you'd be surprised how much water this thing needs and how these sponges just really soak it up. How yeah. often should we water it, Nicole? Um, according to my research on the internet, a couple of times a day. Oh, wow. Um, and So a lot. Yeah, yeah. So not like your regular plants that have already grown into plants where you right. can water them too much. Right, yeah, because these aren't in soil like the other yeah. plants and they're not getting vitamins and nutrients. Um, so they so need to be watered a lot. They need to be watered a lot and you want it in a sunny place. Okay. So here at the library we have a special light we're going to try to grow them under and we're going to cross our fingers and hope it works. Um, so you'll want to make sure that there's, you know, water in the bottom tray and then also when you go to water the seeds on the roof and down here you can use your spray bottle and kind of just okay. spray it like this. Yeah, mist them. Um, now from the research I've done as long as they're getting plenty of sunlight these should sprout in like four to seven days and then um, 
hopefully those as well. I'm not sure. <laughs> I didn't actually look those up if I'm being honest. So, um, after you guys do this, we would love to see how your house looks. Hopefully it's more symmetrical than mine. Mine, mine looks like it could cave in at any time. Um, so show us that, especially if they sprout. We would love to see what um, they look like. Are we going to talk about the science behind the steam thing? Sure. Okay. Okay. So you already talked about it a little bit. Okay. But um, why did we decide that plants need to grow? They need water and they need sunlight, right? Yes. So you can actually begin your plants without them being in soil. Um, and when the seeds sprout roots and sprout a stem, that's called germination. And you get to watch that happen with yeah, your sprout house, awesome. which is so cool. So a couple of things to think about. Um, where do you think the seeds would grow best in your house? If they need water and they need sunlight and you're gonna provide the water, what do you have to think about the most? The sunlight, right? Yes. So you're gonna to wanna to put them in a nice sunny spot. You don't want it to be too cold or too drafty and you want them to get a good amount of sunlight every day. We at the library actually purchased a, um, a bulb yes. that like simulates sunlight because none of our windows, windows yeah, we don't really enough get sunlight. enough direct sunlight. So we're creating our own and you can do that too if you don't have yeah anywhere with enough sunlight. So you need some a good spot for sunlight. Um, and then you're also gonna wanna make sure it's not somewhere where like animals, yeah, that's pets, can get to or it. siblings are gonna get to it and try to eat it right. or play with it. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> but we would love to see your sprout houses. We would, like Nicole said, we'd love to see um, what they look like as they start growing. Yes, that'll be exciting. Yeah. So please show us. Yes. And we will see you in May. In May. For another fun. We thing. will. And then it'll be almost summer. I know. And yeah. summer reading. Yes, we're we've very got, Yes, we've got a lot of fun things for summer. Yeah. So we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.